Before you can start using clickers with your classes, you need to create a database. Go to the CPS icon on your desktop and double click it to open. Once it's open, you want to go ahead and select the bubble that says create a new CPS database. The database is where your clicker quizzes and your reports are going to be housed. You're only going to have one database. You want to name this database something that you're going to remember, like your last name and clickers. And you want to go ahead and save it under My Documents. Once you've done that, click Save and wait for your database to load. Once the database has fully loaded, be sure that you're in the Prepare tab and under Classes and Students. For your clickers to work, you'll need a class. So click on the green plus and then click Class. The software will use a wizard to help you set up your classes. First, you need to select K-12 through because that's the type of clicker that you have. Then hit Next. You do not want to register your CPS clickers online, so select No and Next. On this page, all you need to fill out are the fields for your first name, your last name, and your email address. And then go ahead and hit Next. When choosing a class name, it depends on your grade level. If you teach secondary, you probably have more than one class, so you want to name them by hour. But for elementary teachers, you may just want to name it the school year since you only have one class. Then you need to decide if everything's good or you need to go back and then click Next. And then finally, you've created a class. You can select the box to create more or just hit Done. Now that you have one class, you need students, so hit the plus button again and select student. Now you want to hit the return button or enter until you get the number of students that you need, depending on your clickers. If you have the spark clickers, you need 24 students in a class for all the clickers to work. And if you have pulse clickers, you need 32 students in a class for the clickers to work. Then you can go back and add your student's name as desired, or you can just leave them with a number and the students will know what number to use for each clicker. And now you've set up your database with a class, and if you need to rewatch this video to go through those steps again, that's what it's here for. Um, next, we will get started on integrating clickers.